going to show you what uh, some of the stitches are called in locking fillet crochet and how to do them. This blue color or this variegated color, this is my main color. And this off-white color is my alternating color. And if you notice that my main color sits on the outside and this stitch right here this is actually the chain three or chain four at the end this is called the side stitch and it doesn't matter which side you're working on whether you're working on the front of the work this is the front of my work and this is the back of my work The main color and the side stitch will always be called a side stitch, abbreviated SS. My alternating color, if you notice, sits inside, meaning this is the side stitch on the outside. The alternating color stitch is on the inside of that. That is called the inside stitch because it sits inside this side stitch right here. Furthermore, you can see that this particular one has my inside stitch behind this main color. So this is called an inside stitch back because it is behind the main color and it's abbreviated as ISB. Now let me show you how to do a couple of the stitches. So when we do locking, Belay crochet, you're going to see um, whether the stitch should be the front or the back. So I've done my chain, I'm doing a chain three instead of chain four. It's completely up to you. And let's just say the next stitch I have to do is a front. So when we say front, it's toward you on this side of the work and when we say back it's always going to be away from you it doesn't matter whether you have the front of the work or the back of the work front is always going to be toward you back is always going to be away from you so I'm going to show you how to do a front stitch so because this is counted as the inside stitch this is back the next one I am going to work in between these two double crochets and most people like to call this a window. So I am going to, to do a double crochet through this stitch right here. and That's the next stitch that you see back here, this one, but it's going to be front. So I'm going to go through those two double crochets right there. Insert my hook. And work the double crochet like this in front. So you see how that lays in front of that main color? Now let me show that to you again. Let's do a for another front. And now I'm going in between this next window right here, in between these two double crochets. And the next stitch I'm going to work into is that one right there. So find that double crochet that you are going to crochet into. You pull it through that window and you do your stitch. Now let's do a back and you're still going to go in this window but you're not going to go through it from the front you're going to do the double crochet at the back so you find that stitch and when I say back it means behind this main color right there that row so there's my next stitch and because it's going to be a back oops Trying to do this while I'm filming. 
just do your double crochet there. And you see how it falls behind? And that's the window it goes through. It's behind that row before, that main color row. So now this is back. These two are front. This is back. Now let me show another back stitch. The next one would be in this double crochet right there. And since it's, I want to do a back, I'm not going to go through it from this way. I'm going to push this main color out of the way and go into the chain from the back. And that is the back stitch. So this again is the inside stitch back and it's back because it sits behind this side stitch right here. These are two front stitches because it's in front of the main color row. You see how it sits in front of it? And these two are called the back stitches because it sits behind the main color row or the row right before it. And that's how you do your front and back and this is the side stitch once again main color or the one on the outside is always the side stitch and then the one on the inside of this side stitch is always called the inside this one is an inside back because it sits behind if this if this one here actually went in front of this side stitch it would be called an inside front and I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps so now let me show you the side stitch that we talked about earlier again the variegated color is my main color and the white is my alternate or my alternating color normally when I do uh, the side stitch I do that when I complete the row before but all the side stitch really is is that chain three or that chain four at the end and if you recall earlier I said the side stitch is always called side stitch because it's on the outside and that's all you do is that chain three or that chain four that goes up the sides right here so this is the side stitch now let me show you what it means when it says move the AC to the front or move it to the back so I've already done that side stitch which is the chain three in this case and if the instructions say to move the AC to the back you take I did the chain three already here also you push that to the back hold it to the back side the back of your work I actually like to hold it like this to pull it out like that and let's say I'm supposed to do um, a front stitch so I'm going to go in between these two double crochets in between that window I'm going to do a front stitch with that inside stitch to the back so did you see how I did that right there I just pushed it to the back and my side stitch came in front of it and so that's why this is called an inside back stitch okay now let me show you how to do that if it were an inside front if the instructions say to move your AC to the front instead of holding it 
like this so that your main color, your side stitch, comes in front of it. If it says move your AC to the front instead of the back, you just do the opposite. You move your AC to the front of it like this in front of the side stitch and then you work your side stitch or the, ne the next stitch after the side stitch so let's again do a front you see how I did that just pulled it through so that's a front stitch and now you can see how this ins this AC now becomes an inside stitch to the front because it's in front of the side stitch right there. <laughs> 